What's good, YouTube? That one ninety-two here, back again once again. Today, people, today we are back for another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Mega Evolution speculation video. And today, people, today I have a Mega Evolution that I want to talk about that I've been hyped for for the longest time, ever since Mega Evolution was first announced. This is very, very similar to the Mega Milodi video that we did, but very, ever since. The idea of Mega Evolution has been announced. This has been a Pokemon that I've wanted to get a Mega Evolution for a long time. Today, people, we're going to talk about Mega Altaria. Now, when it comes to Mega Altaria, I think that it's one of those Pokemon that could that could really benefit from it for for both primary reasons. Number one, stats wise, let's we all know we all know Mega Altaria could definitely use a gigantic stat boost. Now, 100 points would help out a lot, and at the same time. Uh, 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 the design portion, you know, the idea of that you have like this, this dragon, this, this weightless dragon, this cloud, like there's so much that you can do, so much just mythical, like especially mythical, um, designs that you could go with for a Mega Halteria, but design, design aside, design, design aside from things, let's, let's go ahead and dive into the, the, the meat of the conversation, the one thing that everybody always wants to come out and express their opinions about, and again, I urge you guys, I urge you guys in the comment section below, share your thoughts, share your opinions, the entire point of this, like, I guess you could call it like a mini-series, like a, a mega evolution speculation mini-series on the channel, um, like, like the whole point of it is to explore the notion of what if. What if this happened? What if that happened? And I know that you guys are just as big of Pokemon nerds as I am, so I cannot wait to see what you guys think about. But besides all that, let's get into the stat distribution for what a Mega Altaria would look like. Now, if you take a look at regular Altaria stats, if you take if you take a Ganda, if you take a Ganda, regular Altaria stats, it is base 490. A powerful, 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 powerful base 490. Now, 490 isn't terrible <laughs> it's not terrible it's almost 500 and there are a lot of good Pokemon in around the 500 to 550 range I mean 550 is considered semi pseudo legendary so still being basically at 500 I mean let's let's round up from 490 to 500 basically being at 500 Altaria is not terrible it's not the world's greatest Pokemon either but the thing that really really makes Mega, I mean, not, not Mega, the thing that really, really cuts Altaria down with the base 490 stats is that a lot of them are just somewhat even across the board. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's one thing or another about a Pokemon. When they have those stats like that, 9 times out of 10, they're going to have uh, uh, more points into one stat or into two specific stats. Like, for example, you have Gengar. Like, when you look at Gengar, he has two clearly obvious stats that, that make him the monster that he is. Special attack and speed. He's fast and he hits hard on the special side. That's what makes him so good. Whereas you have Altaria, who attack base 70, defense base 90, special attack base 70. You know, you have two 70s, 90s, they're 20 points apart, but it's still somewhat even. Then you have special defense at 105, being its highest stat, and speed at 80. So, with, with HP at 75. So, five of its six stats all focus around the same 30 base points, 70 to 90 range. Which, 70 to 90 is nothing to, like, sit there and be proud of either. So, so it's, it's one of those things where, like I said, because it's so somewhat evenly spread across, Altaria is just alright. The nice thing about its stat distribution being evenly spread across like that is the fact that you could have a physical Altaria, a special Altaria, you could have a specially defensive Altaria, seeing as it is its highest, its highest stat. You could try and run a physical Altaria, which actually, actually, you know what? You know what? You don't even have to try and run a physical Altaria. That is a thing. We'll talk about movesets here in a minute. But when it comes to stat distribution, what I really, really want to see is I want to see them take. <sighs> Honestly, what I want to see them do is to take the 100 points and literally cut it up into 20 point segments and throw it on Altaria. Like I said, it's very, 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 very similar to Mega Milotic. Uh, I've mentioned that already in the video, but if you take its attack and add 20 points to it, make it base 90. Defense, add 20 points to it, make it base 110. Base 110 defense is not bad. To put that in perspective for you guys, Weezing. One of the bulkiest Pokemon out there is base 120. Weezing can take a Flare Blitz from a Choice Banded Adamant Darmanitan. It'll live with like 1 HP or some shit like that, but it'll still take it. And Darmanitan hits hard. It hits hard as fuck. It hits like a truck. So Weezing with base 120 defense, 
that, that just shows you right there. Weezing is bulky as shit. So, with base 110, base 110 defense, take special attack, throw 20 points on it, base 90 special attack. Special defense, throw 20 points on it, base 125 special defense. Speed, 20 points on it, base 100. We've already, um... We've already spoken about base 100 speed. Uh, I think I think we spoke about it with Mega Milotic and Mega Salamence in the Mega Salamence speculation videos. We spoke about that then. Base 100 speed is nothing to laugh at. That's nothing to laugh at at all. Pokemon like Entei, those trio Pokemon, um, all have. Well, I won't say they all have base 100, but I, I know for a fact Entei's base 100 speed. Entei outspeeds a lot of what's in the game today. You know, just a majority of things out there Entei can outspeed. Uh, Entei has his flaws and weaknesses and whatnot, but still, back to Mega Altaria, base 100 speed, it's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good in my opinion. So, with even out stats like that, it reminds us a lot of those, uh, those, those uh, Sprite or Pixie Pokemon, whatever you want to call it. You know, the ones being Victini, Mew, Celebi, Shaman, Victini, you know, those ones like that that are all 100 across the board. There's their, um, base 600 stats, but they're all 100 across the board. So you can make them into whatever you want. That's why you can have a physical Celebi or a special Celebi or Mew. Can you can do whatever you want with Mew because you learn any move. But that's what I'm saying. You could run uh, any type of move set on them. You can do anything you want with them because of the fact that they are base 100 across the board. So to that extent, Mega Altaria will be very very similar to those. But let's take it a step further and explore Altaria's move set as it is. Now, let's talk about setup. Let's talk about setup from the get go. Number one, because that's, that's the most important thing. That was one of the things that really, really made Mega Salamence as broken as it was, was the fact that it had access to Moxie, Intimidate, in addition to setup, and all the stats that it got. So let's talk about setup moves that it gets. Right off the bat, uh, you heard me mention that it's if you were to run a defensive Altaria, you could. Even though Special Defense is high stat, you could still run a, a, a physical, physically defensive one. You could run, what, Max HP, Max Special Defense? Run a run a, 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 a careful nature or whatever whatever nature you want that increases special defense. Cotton Guard. Altaria gets access to Cotton Guard, which makes sense. It's a fucking fluffy cloud, so it runs Cotton Guard. You can max out its defense. You have max special defense as well. It's bulky as shit with the increased defense and special defense stats as well. What do we say? What do we say its defense is going to be with the addition of the the 20 points? 20 points defense would be 110. Its special defense would then be 125 with Cotton Guard as well. That's that's an offensive ass Pokemon. It's gonna eat up hits for days. It's gonna eat up hits for days. Again, you've heard me compare Mega Altaria to Mega Milotic multiple times. Mega Milotic was bulky as a fucking all get out, and now Mega Altaria is gonna follow that path. The stats might not be as high. It might not have that same Marvel scale ability that helps it out with its defense, but still, it gets access to Cotton Guard. Cotton Guard is an amazing move. Amazing move. Amazing move. So it gets Cotton Guard on the defense side. It gets access to Dragon Dance. Like you said, if you don't want to run a super defensive Altaria, you know, it gets the stat increases to to its attack and, and special attack, even though Dragon Dance doesn't do anything for special attack, but still, it gets the added stat increases to attack. So then you can run Dragon Dance, you can up its speed as well, it's already base 100 as it is. It's already base 100 as it is, so with Dragon Dance at base 100, you're going to outspeed a majority of things on the field. There might be one or two other Megas. I mean, I, I can't do all the math right now in my head. There might be one or two other Megas that might outspeed you, but besides that, a Mega Altaria with Dragon Dance, you're set. You're going to outspeed whatever's in front of you. Now, with the Dragon Dance on top of its increased attack stat being base 90, um, compared to other Megas, base 90 is really not all that. So, unless you get like maybe two Dragon Dances up, you might, I, I don't know, you, you'll probably hit hard, but. I wouldn't necessarily. I don't know. 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 Does it have outrage? Does it get outrage? Does Does Altaria have access to outrage? I don't think it does. It gets Dragon Rush. Let me Let me control F this bitch real quick. It does not get. Oh wait, wait. I gotta spell outrage correctly, which I failed twice at now. No, it doesn't get access to outrage. So. The point that I'm making is, if you wanted to run a physical one, you could. I'm pretty sure Winona in 3rd gen, doesn't she run Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Altaria for electric types and shit like that? Even though it's neutral damage to her, but still, I remember losing Electabuzz and in our, in our Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke to Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Altaria. So, you could run a physical one if you wanted to with the Dragon Dance set. You could run Defensive one, Max HP, Max Special Defense with the Cotton Guard as well. Or, uh, it gets access to a few other moves. Uh, it has, has, uh... 
Parish Song, if you want to be that person, it gets Mist, it gets Haze, it gets a whole plethora, an entire plethora of special attacking moves. Uh, Feather Dance as well, Agility, so if you want to up your speed even more, I mean, I'd rather run Dragon Dance than Agility, but I mean, to each his own, you can do whatever you want. It has access to so many different setup moves and status effect moves, period. It gets access to them. So, even though it just has those kind of sort of like pixie just base setup i mean those those base stats almost uh, almost at base 100 across the board even though it's special defense is base 125 you know what i'm saying even though it's all somewhat around that area and it's basically just like one of those pixie pokemon because of the setup moves that it gets mega alteria can be something it can be something real and it can hit hard it can hit hard if it really really wanted to now when it comes to moveset we have to talk about its typing first Fun fact, for those of you guys didn't know, Swablu is actually normal flying, while Alteria is dragon flying. But with it being dragon flying, Dragonite and Salamence outclass it so much. Dragonite and Salamence are both amazing in their own ways. I know they're pseudo-legendary, so their stats are automatically higher and whatnot, but still, Dragonite and uh, Salamence outclass Mega Alteria in so many different ways. Even, even Mega Alteria, a regular Dragonite and a regular Salamence would be better than regular Alteria because they both get access to Dragon Dance. So their stats are already higher, and they, they can, you guys get what I'm saying. So to that extent, let's give Altaria Fairy Typing. Let's drop the Flying Typing, make it our first Dragon Fairy Pokemon. You know, the Fairy Typing, like we said with Mega Milotic, is kind of sort of dainty, it's kind of feminine, you know, we can, we can safely say that. I'm not trying to like be feminist or anything like that, but Fairy Typing does have feminine aspects to it, Alteria looks like a very feminine dragon type. So again, just like the same reason as my Lotic getting fairy typing, let's give Alteria dragon fairy typing. To that extent, to that extent, a lot of you guys have heard me say this before as well, Alteria gets Moonblast by level up in 6th gen. It can also learn Dazzling Gleam. So, if you were just playing in game and you had access to Dazzling Gleam, you could teach it that, and then once it learned Moonblast, replace it. Or if you want to run Dazzling Gleam for like doubles or free for alls or whatever, you can do that. Or you could just go all out for Moonblast. So if you really, really wanted to, you could turn Mega Alteria Dragon Fairy Typing. Let's see here. If you ran, if you ran, let's say you ran the Max HP Max Special Defense set. You had Cotton Guard. Oh, uh, let's say you ran Moonblast, Dragon Pulse, and let's see does it have access to it does in fact get roost as well makes sense it's a flying type so if you ran roost cotton guard dragon pulse and moonblast that thing's not dying period it's not gonna die it loses its quad weakness to ice type ice is uh just just neutral not neutral um it's just it's super effective now but it's not quad so i mean it's it's it, it gains it gains it might gain it gains weakness with steel typing. What, what would Mega Altaria's um, weaknesses be being dragon flying? You'd have ice, steel, poison, um, dra no, you would, it would lose its dragon weakness too because it's fairy typing. It would be immune to other dragon types. So, I mean, adding the fairy typing takes away some of its weaknesses. It gives it a new one being steel and poison, of course. But, I mean, still, just, just with Mega Altaria being dragon fairy, getting access to all these powerful moves. I mean, we can sit here and go through, I forgot, it gets home claws as well, if you want to throw that into the whole uh, uh, setup move set. But still, the point that I'm making is if you want to go through the whole TM list that it learns, it learns an entire plethora of moves. Ice Beam, Hyper Beam, Rain Dance, Roof, Safeguard, Solar Beam, Earthquake, Return, Double Team, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Aerial Ace, Rest, Attract, Echoed Voice, Steel Wing for other fairy types, Giga Impact, Bulldoze, you know, powerful bulldoze with Earthquake's a thing. You know, of course, it gets Substitute, Dazzling Gleam. You know, it has, it, honestly, its move pool is so good. The one thing that really, really hurts and suppresses Altaria is the fact that its stats are balanced, but they're so low at the same time. So, honestly, with the 20 points to each area uh, distribution that we presented, honestly, I think Mega Altaria, with proper setup moves, can be a real force. I think it can hold its own in UU for sure. I don't know about OU. I don't know about OU. There might be a couple other Pokemon up there that might bop it even more. I mean, we like Greninja is a thing. You know, it could bop it before it Mega Evolves. 
it could pop it even if it mega evolves. You know, it's just there's when it comes to OU, there's so many more things to talk about. But I think Mega Alteria with that with those stats, with the setup moves that it has access to, I think it holds its own in UU perfectly fine. Um, the only thing that we haven't talked about so far is ability. But honestly, just like my Lodic before, I would honestly want it to keep its current ability natural cure. Because honestly, with it being as bulky as it is, what's the one thing that you do to, to get rid of a bulky Pokemon? You want to you want to toxic stall it out. You want to toxic stall it. You want to burn it. You want to do whatever you can just to whittle down its health because that combined with whatever hits you can get off on it are going to slowly whittle the Pokemon down until they die. But if you keep its natural cure, you're going to go ahead and allow it to uh, heal itself when it swaps out, or or give it regenerator or something like that. You know, it's just it's that it's that graceful. Pokemon, you guys get the point that I'm making. So either Natural Cure, maybe Regenerator. I'm still more so on the side of Natural Cure. It also has Cloud Nine as a hidden ability, which, I mean, I guess is kind of nice, like in certain situations. But overall, I'd rather run Natural Cure. Natural Cure Alteria, in my opinion, like I said, with the stats it gets, with the abilities, I mean, with the with the typing that it would gain. Honestly, this is an ideal Mega Alteria, in my opinion. I love it. I would I would honestly run a Mega Altaria if it ended up being this way. So Game Freak, make it happen, goddammit! <sighs> so let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. I know I kind of sort of rambled here and there a little bit. Um, I know most of the time I try to have like a clear path on where I'm going when I'm talking about these things, but every once in a while, you know, something comes up, like for example with the whole outrage thing. I'm just like, wait a minute, what? Does it get outraged? Does it not get outraged? Still. Either way, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below of a Mega Altaria. If you guys agree with the Mega Altaria that I presented, if you guys have a different Mega Altaria that you'd like to present, whether it comes to typing, ability, stat distribution, movesets, whatever it is about it, leave it in the comment section below. Like I said, the idea of what if drives our curiosity so much. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'll definitely be combing the comment section, talking to you guys about your ideas as well. If you enjoyed this Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Mega Evolution Speculation video, Make sure you smash the like button down below for us. Make sure you smash the like button if you are hyped for the brand new Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire games. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you all once again. You know me, YouTube. Apple 92. Uh, I'm out.